Hello everyone and welcome to this month's episode of What's for Dinner. This month we were making pumpkin cookies with cream cheese frosting. Let's get cooking. installment of Baking with Erin. Let's get started here on our pumpkin cookies with cream cheese frosting. So the first thing I've done is I have preheated our oven here 350 degrees. And now we're going to get started on the dry ingredients first. So a couple things we have. We'll kind of go through and then we'll mix them all together. So here we have two and a half cups of flour and then we're going to do a teaspoon each of baking powder and baking soda, the proverbial flippers. And then we have a tablespoon of pumpkin pie spice and a half a teaspoon of iodized salt. So we've got our flour and then we will do one teaspoon here of the baking powder. And our baking soda. Also a teaspoon, and our pumpkin pie spice, whole tablespoon of your pumpkin pie spice. Apparently we're going to struggle a bit with the pumpkin pie spice. And lastly, our salt, half a teaspoon. We'll just whisk all that together, nicely mixed. And now this one's going to get added to our wet ingredients. So we'll get our mixer ready and we'll go add this. All right, so our next step is going to be to mix together the wet ingredients. So the first thing we have to do is cream together your butter and your two types of sugar. So here we have three quarters of a cup of butter. This is room temperature butter. We have the cute little tiny sticks. So we're going to put that in here. I'm using a stand mixer, which is my very favorite kitchen appliance. But you could also use a hand mixer if you wanted to or if that's what you have on hand. I'm using the whisk attachment because it just makes everything nice and fluffy. And then we have here three quarters of a cup of granulated sugar. Put that one on in there. And then half a cup of light brown sugar. Alright, so what we're going to do now is we're going to let this cream together until it's light and fluffy. It should take about three minutes. And we want to make sure that we're scraping down the bowl so we get everything nicely combined and nothing's stuck on the bottom. And that's a problem we sometimes run into with these mixers is that things get stuck in the divot on the bottom. So you want to make sure you're scraping it down appropriately so everything gets mixed together nicely. We're going to go ahead and give it a scrape. Get these things out of the attachment that are stuck. Give it another just a little bit yet. Do a little scrape of the bowl here and then probably just one more whisk and we should be good. So for the next part we'll do the paddle attachment. There we go. And now to your creamed mixture of the sugar and the butter you are going to add your canned pumpkin. So this is one and a quarter cups of canned pumpkin. I like the Libby's brand because it has a lower water content than a lot of your other canned pumpkins, so it doesn't make your dough as dense and wet. So we'll go ahead and put this in. We also have here one room temperature egg. And finally, one teaspoon of vanilla. So we'll go ahead and get these combined. Again, scraping down the sides of your bowl as you go. Alright, so we 
have a lovely mixture of our pumpkin and our creamed butter and sugar. Now we're going to go ahead and start adding in our dry ingredient mixture that we made before. And we want to make sure we just mix this until it's just combined. You don't want things to be mixing for too long because you don't want it to become tough. So we'll go ahead and just add a little bit of this and start mixing it around. Definitely smells like the season, smells like fall. Scrape it down one more time here and I think we should be set to go. We are all set. We've got a lovely smooth dough here. So the next step is going to be to put it on our pans and bake it. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and we're going to scoop our dough onto two cookie sheets with parchment paper on them already. So I have here my trusty cookie scoop. I believe this is a one inch, but I love these because they make your cookies all nice and uniform. So we'll go ahead and scoop this out. I want to make sure you leave about an inch or so between these so they have room to spread. So we're going to go bake the first batch of the cookies. They're going to go in at 350 degrees for 14 minutes. It says 13 to 15, so I'm going to start with 14 until the edges are just a little bit crisp and brown. Go ahead and set our timer for 14 minutes. All right, we'll see you in about 14 minutes. All right, so it has been 14 minutes, and we're going to take a look at our cookies. They smell amazing. All right, so let's see here. They're still looking a little blonde. I'm going to give them three or four more minutes just to be sure that they're actually done. Yeah. We'll go with three minutes. Okay, so while the cookies are finishing up, we're going to go ahead and make the icing. So the first thing you'll need is eight ounces of cream cheese. We're going to go ahead and throw this in the mixer. And also a quarter cup of butter, unsalted. And just like the first step, in making the cookies, we're going to cream this together until it's kind of a homogenous mixture. All right, I'm going to go ahead and scrape down the sides here, make sure it's getting all incorporated together. Oh, it looks great. Okay. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and add in one teaspoon of vanilla extract. And then finally, we've got one and three quarter cups of powdered sugar. Go ahead and put all this in here and then let it whip for a while. All right, so it has been a couple extra minutes here. And these, these are looking much, much better, much more done, much less blonde. Yes, beautiful. We're just going to go ahead and take these and put them on a cooling mat and let them cool thoroughly before our next step, which is going to be icing them. You want to make sure they're fully cooled so that you don't have your icing melting all over the place. All right, so we'll just finish whipping up this icing. We are getting that nice consistency that we're looking for. All 
All right, and there it is. We have that lovely whipped cream cheese consistency. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm actually gonna put this in the fridge while I wait for my cookies to cool. That way then it's all ready to go when the time comes. I'm just gonna fix my shirt quick. All right, so our next step is going to be to ice our cookies. So I just have my chilled icing here and just a regular knife. You could use an offset spatula. That'll probably make this uh, process a whole lot easier. You can go ahead and stick just a little bit of icing on top here and we'll spread it out and try to make it pretty. So I'm pretty satisfied with how that looks. Go ahead and do another little one right here. And then I have also a little bit of cinnamon to put on top as a little bit of a garnish. Ooh, that's maybe a little more cinnamon than I was hoping, but we love cinnamon, so it's okay. So here we have our lovely finished cookies, and I would like it to invite special guests to come and try them with me. What? Cool. Why? Why? They're delicious. Oh, why? <laughs> yes. Come here. Hi, I'm not supposed to be in this episode. <laughs> Hi. Hi. What did you make? I made pumpkin cookies with cream cheese frosting. Oh, that sounds wonderful. Yes. That's a lot of cinnamon. It is. I, it's a lot of ice, too. I overdid it on the cinnamon. But it's, it's a lot of ice. Do you have enough to ice the rest I, of the I do, yes. Okay. Don't worry. All right. Ready? Sure. Cheers. Mmm. Wow. I'm very happy with them. They taste like fall. Oh, that's good. Mm -hmm. I like them. Very good. Mm. I like that. They're very pillowy. They are. Yes. Yeah. I like that. That's going to be soft. Thank you so much for watching this episode of What's for Dinner. If there are any recipes that you'd like to see us make, you're welcome to leave them in the comments below, or you can fill out the Google form that is located in the description. Um, thank you again for watching this episode, and have a very happy holiday season. Take care, God bless. We'll see you all later. Love it. I have another one. Uh, I just want for you. I have another one? Yeah, hold on.